Hi, it's Therese and I'm here for Old and New and today I decided to use the artist markers and some Yupo paper together and see how it goes. So I've cut a piece of of the white Yupo paper, but this is a synthetic paper and I've cut it to the same size as my card front. Now the artist markers from Molten New are alcohol based and I know that um, when we use the alcohol inks and everything on the Yupo paper uh, they blend really beautifully so I thought I'd see how they go. The colors that I'm using I wanted to do sort of some subtle colors today so I've chosen like a green and a yellow color I'll list the colors that I use at the blog the link will be below and then I've got some blending solution now this stuff is awesome what it does is it moves the color so I didn't want the marks because I don't have like reinkers or any other way to add these colors to my cardstock I just literally drew them on there and I'm using the blending solution to actually blend these colors and I wanted to get rid of some of those harsh lines so literally I just kept dropping on the blending solution and tipping my paper another way you can mix these colors would be to use a straw or um, just something to blow the colors around with on the cardstock so I just set that to aside to dry for a few minutes and then I've come back in I want to add a second layer and see how I go this time I have a blue this time and I think I lost some of the depth of um, my green so I do come back in with the green and I did choose colors that were darker than what I thought I needed because I knew that they were going to blend out and become a lot lighter so I suppose if you're wanting a really subtle kind of a background you can easily add lighter colors to begin with because you can always add more on top if you're not happy or you can also um, use less layers so these backgrounds can be whatever you want them to be and I'm having so much fun with them at the moment because it's a really easy way to get kind of that watercolor -y look now I focused all my coloring at the base of my card panel because that's where I want my images to be and I didn't like the way the color at all um, collected at the edges so I just tipped the cardstock again and then I'll just set that aside to dry for a little while the stamp set I want to be using today is called World About You and this is a layering stamp set but I want to use it as a silhouette image so I've chosen both a solid and one of the one of the more shaded color oh, I don't know how do you explain it um, one not so solid image and I'm using the permanent black here from Molten U which is a permanent ink and I'm being fairly generous with the ink here and this is because I want it to look fairly um, fairly dark and, and like a solid black silhouette but on the other hand what this does is it actually creates a thickness to the black um, silhouettes that I'm creating and they won't I found that it was um, would struggle to dry if I put too much on so I stamp in a, f a few of the flowers just on different sort of angles over the area that I've created using my misty because I knew I would probably need to stamp them a couple of times and one thing that I did find was that the images kind of stuck to the Yupo paper when I added it directly on I was using uh, sometimes I use acetate to protect my cardstock while I'm stamping but I wasn't game to do that this time because the ink hadn't dried properly at this point so I just very gently peeled off I didn't I tried not to press too hard when I was picking up the images and when I stamped them out I um, and when I picked them up with the misty lid I was um, pretty gentle to peel them away from the background and then I have set that aside to dry because it's going to take ages I've got some black cardstock and I've prepped it with the powder tool and I'm stamping out because I thought this would make a really pretty sympathy card so I'm using a sentiment from the thinking of you and white heat embossing that 
using the Altenew embossing ink. And then once that sort of cooled down a little bit, I just wipe away the um, powder tool, the residue there. It certainly does help with those stray bits of embossing powder though. It saves a lot of after work. <laughs> now I've got a top fold uh, card base and I'm adding my adhesive to the front of that just because I haven't allowed enough time for my black ink to dry. I did actually use a clean piece of white card, um, white paper and just tap that over top. So most of that ink is either gone or dry now. I was very gentle when I did that and I would definitely set this aside overnight to make sure that that permanent ink dries perfectly because I did do it quite thickly. Popped up my sentiment and that's my finished card for today. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you were inspired. Till next time, have a great day. Bye.